guys, so I am going back and making videos for old posts that don't already have videos. Um, today we're working on the pork tenderloin. So we're going to start off with a quarter cup. Of vegetable or canola oil. And we're just going to dump everything into a gallon sized plastic bag. Next up is two tablespoons of our orange marmalade, one quarter teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. Um, I actually got this one at an Asian market, but they probably have it at Walmart by now. Um, I actually have whole cloves of garlic here, which I'm going to run a knife through really quickly. Um, if you're using the pre-minced jarred garlic, then you could just use a quarter teaspoon of that. A five second squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, of sriracha, one quarter teaspoon of ginger paste, a tablespoon of tamari, and that was low sodium tamari, so I'm going to add a few shakes of salt. Now before we add the pork, we're just going to give this a quick mix. Make sure everything is evenly distributed. Then we just need to add our pork tenderloin and I don't bother to trim this up anymore even though it does still have some silver skin just because pork doesn't really need to have that removed unless it's ribs or a tougher cut. So of course, only handle the outside of the bag with your clean hand, not your pork cover hand. And toss to coat liberally. Squeeze out any extra air. And voila. Um, put this in the fridge for at least an hour to marinate and then cook according to instructions at dinner time. Okay, it is almost time for dinner. So we are going to pull our pork tenderloin out. Um, I've made a nice little foil boat for it. And we're trying to make sure to get any garlic or orange rinds off because those bits like to burn. And this we're going to keep to make a sauce. And we're going to wash our hands. Now for this first stage, we are going to have our oven set at 450. And we're going to set the timer on our probe for 15 minutes. And we're just going to kind of stick it into the middle at an angle. Okay, our 15 minutes is up, so we're going to switch from the timer to the temperature function for the alarm. And you want to set it to at least 145. So flip that on, and then we're going to reduce this to 350. And there we go. Okay, we have about 20 degrees left on our pork tenderloin, so now is the perfect time to start the sauce. Um, we're just going to take our marinade and put it through a handheld strainer to separate out any solids. So those chunks of garlic 
the orange rind from the marmalade, etc. And we do want to cook this a little bit more just because it has had raw pork in it. And we're going to set this to about three and a half out of ten. Um, it does have sugar in it, so we don't want to set it too high or else the sugar will burn and it'll, you know, actually ruin the pan. But we do want it high enough to get any of that raw pork grossness out of there. And also to reduce the total amount of liquid in the sauce so it thickens up. Okay. Okay, so our pork is resting, our sauce is bubbling, and in a few minutes I will be able to slice this up and top it off with some sauce and enjoy. Okay, this should be ready. So first things first, pull the probe. And make sure to turn off your thermometer so that you don't kill your batteries. Next, you want to angle your board to have better access. And slice on the bias, which means diagonal. Yummy, yummy. So that's how you make a perfect pork tenderloin. It's got some sweetness. It's got a little kick. Mm. It's super tender. Enjoy your super easy weeknight dinner. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. I'm the Deglutinizer.